For these problems, you're just going to solve them. You'll solve these problems exactly the same way as you've been solving division problems using the standard algorithm. The only difference is that these dividends are bigger, so the number of times you have to go through the steps of the algorithm increases. On number one, we see that we're going to have a three-digit quotient. That means we're going to have to go through the steps of long division three different times. So nothing's different, but we're just going to practice once or twice doing larger numbers. So if you look at number one, we see 2,975 divided by 7. I would suggest that you turn your notebook paper sideways so that you can keep these columns. It'll make keeping everything lined up easier. So I'm just going to start by writing my problem down, 2,975 divided by 7. So 2 can't be divided by 7, so I'm going to start by looking at 29. So for my first round, I'm going to do 29 divided by 7. So 29 divided by 7 is 4. I'm going to write my answer right above the 9. Okay, now it's time to multiply. 4 times 7 is 28. Now it's time to subtract. 29 minus 28 is 1. And now it's time to compare. 1 is less than 7, so I can go ahead and bring down the next digit and make my new dividend. So my dividend I'm going to be using on round 2 is now 17. All right, so here goes round 2. 17 divided by 7 is 2. Multiply 2 times 7 to get 14. Subtract 17 minus 14 to get 3. Compare that 3 is less than 7, so I'm going to go ahead and bring down my last digit. Okay, so now it's time to start round 3 of the algorithm, but this time my dividend is going to be 35. So I'm going to start with 35 divided by 7. 35 divided by 7 is 5. Now I'm going to multiply. 5 times 7 is 35. Now I'm on subtract. Compare. And there's nothing to bring down, so I know I'm finished. And there's not a remainder to bring up. So my answer is just 425. All right, let's do one more together. So for number two, we have 4,880 divided by 5. Okay, so I see I'm going to do three rounds because 4 can't be divided by 5. So for my first round, I'm going to look at 48. So 48 divided by 5 is 9. 9 times 5 is 45. 48 minus 45 is 3. I'm going to compare, make sure it is less, and if it is, I can go ahead and bring down my number to make round 2. Okay, so I'm on round 2, and my new dividend is 38. So I'm going to start by doing 38 divided by 5, which is 7. Now multiply 7 times 5, which is 35. Now subtract 38 minus 35. Compare, make sure 3 is less than 5. And if it is, you can go ahead and bring down and get ready for the last round. For the last round, we have 30 divided by 5, which is 6. Multiply 6 times 5, which is 30. Subtract. Compare, make sure it is less. Okay, there's no more digits to bring down. There's no remainder to bring up. And so we're finished. Our answer is 900. 76. All right, you try some on your own, and if you need help, you can come back and rewatch the video. Good luck.